All right, guys. So this last nitrogen cycle video uh, is going to do a couple things. It's going to take everything, put it into diagram format, and it's going to talk about the nitrogen cycle itself, talk about all the different uh, forms of nitrogen, where they are, who's doing what with them, that kind of stuff. And then I'm also going to talk about uh, the human impact piece as well. So it's kind of a big recap video. So watch this as many times as you need to. Use it to help you study. I'm going to get into um, the nitrogen cycle first. And if you guys remember, nitrogen is up here in the atmosphere. Um, it's about 78% of our atmosphere. Just tons and tons of it all over the place in the atmosphere. And this little blue guy right here is that nitrogen, and he's in the gas form, all right? Now, nitrogen is super duper important for plants. It's important for animals uh, because plants need it as a nutrient to grow. Animals need it to make uh, amino acids and proteins and DNA and RNA, all that good stuff that makes up our body. So we really need this N2. We need this nitrogen. Tricky thing is we can't breathe this stuff in and use it. Plants can't uh, absorb the N2 gas through their leaves and use it. So uh, we have to rely on precipitation, rain, stuff like that in order for the nitrogen to get into our systems. So what's going to happen is this little nitrogen duty is going to make his way down um, through the atmosphere on this rain droplet, hitchhike a little bit, get down into the ground. And then we get to rely on our, our new best friend, the bacteria, right? This bacteria right here, what he's going to do is he's going to take this N2 that's in the ground now, N2, and he's going to turn it into this guy over here, NH3. NH3. NH3 is ammonia. And this plant doesn't like it. It's toxic to this plant. So... We have to go, keep going in, in our steps. And lucky for us, we have more bacteria friends. This guy right here, he likes this guy. He likes NH3. So what he's going to do is he's going to take that NH3 and he's going to turn it into this thing right here, NO3, which is nitrate. And nitrate is super fantastic. Uh, nitrate is what this plant is going to be able to use as a nutrient. So once we once we turn this ammonia into nitrate, we are good to go um, for that nitrogen to get into the plant. All right. So take a take a second and go through that one more time. This is really important. N2 gas can't use it right away. We have to turn it into a couple different forms. So that N2 gas is going to rely on you know, precipitation to get it down here into the soil. Then we have to rely on bacteria to turn that N2 into ammonia. And then again, another bacteria to turn the ammonia into nitrate. That nitrate is what this plant can use. All right. Now there, there are a couple of ways to, um, get that nitrate or get that um, nitrogen back up into the atmosphere, okay? And one of those ways is for this guy right here. Okay, the reason why he's got that little ski mask on, ski mask on is because he likes to steal stuff. And what he's gonna do is he's going to take that NO3, he's gonna take all those oxygens, and what we're left with is nitrogen. Okay, and he's gonna turn that into N2 and then that nitrogen gets to go back up into the atmosphere, kind of replenish our stock of that 78% nitrogen in the atmosphere. So we've gone through a whole bunch of different bacteria to just transform the nitrogen into different types so that the nitrogen can get into different spheres, right? Now eventually, what can also happen is the nitrogen that's stored up in this plant can be eaten by our little cow guy. He's hungry. So our cow is going to eat some plants. We're just transferring nitrogen from one uh, part of the biosphere to the other. All right. And this guy is going to eat so much 
plant material that he's going to have to produce some waste. And that waste has lots of nitrogen in it. And there's another bacteria that can turn the nitrogen in this waste into ammonia. And then ammonia can be, you know, cycled through this part so that plants can use it again. All right, so a lot of different things happening in here just to change the nitrogen into the different forms. All right. Now that right there is the nitrogen cycle. The next little part I'm going to talk about is how having too much nitrogen in our system is going to impact um, the environment. So imagine hundreds of these guys right here producing all this waste. And that waste has lots of NO3 in it. And eventually, you know, maybe it rains or the, the farmer needs to move that fertilizer, that waste, somewhere else. And eventually that NO3 is going to get into a lake or a river. Okay, so in this lake now we've got NO3. Okay, and NO3, I mean, we needed that to make this corn, right? So what's going to happen is all of these little plants or plants that are going to be in the water are going to be like, all right, man, we got tons and tons of food. Let's eat it up. And that's what they're going to do. And they're going to pre uh, create this. Or they're going to create algae. Okay, we're going to get that algae bloom. And that algae bloom is going to go on and go on. We're going to get that really gross, nasty, stinky green film on the top of our lake or sometimes in rivers, right? Until all of this NO3 is gone. They've eaten it all up, right? Once that happens, here he is, our best friend, bacteria. That bacteria is going to have a field day because all of this algae is going to die and all the bacteria down here they're going to eat that up okay as it eats up all this dead stuff it is going to need oxygen to uh, do respiration right so as this stuff dies as bacteria eats and eats and eats and eats at the same time it is taking up all this oxygen and eventually we're going to have uh, a dead zone. Okay, the process of you know creating the dead zone is that big, huge eutrophication. All right. So make sure you guys understand this big, huge diagram. Okay, it's kind of broken down into two parts. Go back, watch the video as many times as you need to. Ask me questions if you need to as well. Uh, but this is a really good study uh, guide for you guys, study source uh, for everything you need to know about the nitrogen cycle.